Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you're having a good day so far, and I'm happy to talk to you again. As usual, we will start with a little bit of morning group, and, and we start that with this chart. So, yesterday was Wednesday, the 28th. Wednesday. 28th. Let's sing our song and see what today is. I'm going to show you the names as I sing them. I just have to get them in the perfect order so I can go fast. Well, not fast, but I'll go the way the, the song says it. Because a lot of times we start the week off with Monday when it starts the week off as Sunday. You ready? There are seven, oh no, that's the wrong one. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There, there's Sunday, and there's Monday. There's Tuesday, and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday. And Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. All right. So we already said yesterday was Wednesday. So what does that make today? I can pick these up. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What comes after Wednesday? Does that sound good? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Sounds good to me. Unless somebody changed it overnight. You never know. People can do that. So today is Thursday. Tomorrow, the day after today, will be what? What comes after Thursday? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. Friday, and then the Saturday. So now that we know what day the actual day is, we need to know what number the day is, because every date, calendar date has a number on it. And we're getting, it's hard because this is my, my bad wrist, so it's hard for me to hold the computer up here so you can see it, but I want you to be able to see them. Most people say, well, then Joanne, sit on the other side and use your other hand. But that would be I mean I had to think about it. Let me just get out here far enough so you can see everything. I, I'll close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Are you getting them all? Yep. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You can I always tell when I'm, sorry, I'm making everyone sick with the moving of the camera. 25, 26, 27, 28. What do you think comes after 28? Remember, they all were in their 20s, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. They all be, they're all two-digit numbers now, and they start with the 2. And then we count the same as when we do when we're in the 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So only this time it has a 2 in front of it. So 21, 22. I should start with 20. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28. What comes after 8? I showed a real quick peek of it. Did you see it? 29. Today is the 29th day of May. Oh, May, April. We're going to be going into May. Wow. So fast. We've been counting to 10.
I just don't want to put it somewhere where I stick myself with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, when you have the boxes here, you put one in each box until you get to the number you're looking for. And then you can add them up. And this just kind of helps you know how many you need and helps you count. So there's ten there. Ten. A one and a zero. That's how, oh, if that's how it's written. And then we have J. J is a lot of names, but how about Jackrabbit? Jackal? I'm trying to think of uh, J animals. Of course, you know, now that I'm trying to, I'm not going to remember. But your jacket, we still have been using jackets some days, some days not. Some days you start with a jacket and then you don't have it on your way home. It's crazy New England weather. Jeans. We're going to see if there's anything around here, like you might have your house that starts with a J. In our refrigerator, we have juice. Let me get it, show you. Miss Julie bought some juice boxes for the classroom. They're apple, cranberry, peach. Cranberry, apple, peach. Mmm. So she brought us some, well, you guys, some juice boxes. Thank you, Miss Julie, for those of you that drink. But juice, is it on here? Yep, right here. Juice. I'm going to bring it up as close as I can so you can see the word. Right there. Juice. And see, it has the cranberries and the apple, and the peach slice. That was really nice of her. She's out shopping for herself and says, oh, look at that juice, that sounds good. And she got some for the classroom. Yay, Miss Julie. So those are some J words. It's been a little rough trying to come up with different things that I want to do this week, because I, I don't have any kind of cohesive thing. Next week we'll start a lot on planting and, and gardens and even though we've done some of it we'll do a lot of it so there'll be more cohesiveness between it all. I should look and see what else we have on here. Okay so today I thought that I would read and I, we probably read it before. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? So we're gonna work on the animals and our colors. And I have this little page for later on, and we have little animals. So later on, you're going to help put them in the correct order of who the brown bear sees. I just have to open this up. And this is by Eric Carl. Poor Miss Julie had to laminate all these things and cut them out for me. And this particular version is off of, oh, I'm missing a page off of it, of um, Sherlock Center. Okay, but I got to go back because I just realized I'm, unless I put it in the wrong order, I think I put it in the wrong order. All right. Oh, you know what? I don't even know if I have it in the right order of, of the book. But you know what? This is our own book. We can read it in any order we want. So brown bear. There's our brown bear. Brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? What do you see? And what do we use to see? Do we use our ears? to see? Do we use our nose to see? Do we use our eyes to see? That's right, we use our eyes to see. So he re responds, I see, that's has that for seeing, so it says I see a bird, but what color bird is that? 
Is it red or is it purple? It's red. I see oh. I see a red bird bird looking at me. I just got confused for a minute. Sorry about that guys. Now it's red bird. Red bird. Now we have how many red birds do we have on this page? One, two. What do you see? Because there's the eyes of the red bird. What do we use our eyes to see? Oh, it's slippy because I laminated it. I see a. What's that? They're fluffy. They have feathers. They fly. So they're a type like a bird, but it's actually a duck. A yellow duck. Looking at me. Let's see what the yellow duck sees. Yellow duck. Yellow duck. What do you see? What do you see, Mr. Yellow Duck? I'm sure you see pond, water, and other ducks. But what else do you see? Silly, silly. I see a blue horse looking at me. A blue horse. That's so silly. So now, what does this page start with? Because we have a blue horse. We say, blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? Now, what I want to do is count the legs on the horses. So we have to count all these legs. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has eight legs. How many legs do you have? I try to put mine up so you could see him, but I don't even, I don't even know if I could get him up that high today. I'm kind of a little stiff. But I have these. These will help. First day we saw, we heard about a nose, or we heard about eyes, I see. And now we're counting how many legs does the, do you have? Because the horses, two horses had eight legs, but one horse has four legs. How many legs do you have at home? Let's count. One, two. Most people have two legs. Some don't for a variety of reasons that we won't get into, but most people do. Okay, blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Can you get a good look at him? He's cute. I just want to make sure I get these little pictures in order while I'm reading this. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? So I wonder what the green frog sees. What do you think they would normally see? They live in the water on the pond or they live, they're outside right on the side of it. So I think they would see other frogs, maybe lily pads, rocks, insects. Sometimes people coming so they hide or jump back into the water. I see, oh, what do you see, green frog? I see a purple cat looking at me. A purple cat? Now maybe I would like a cat then if it was purple. Because you meant, it's the man's, a dog person. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? What, can, what do you think? Think about it. What do you think the purple cat sees? 
he sees a white dot. Oop. A white dog looking at me. Dog would probably be chasing him. Now we have two, one, two white dogs. White dog, white dog, what do you see? Hmm, let's think about what the white dog could see. I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? Under all that hair, there's eyes. I see a goldfish looking at me. Well, that's kind of silly, goldfish looking at him. Glug, 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 glug. He's in the water swimming around. I don't know, maybe he's in the window and he sees the sheep go by. I don't know. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? And that's how they get around. They have fins here, and there's one here, and they have the back ones. These ones move like this so he can swim, and these ones kind of move like that to help him swim. I see. What does he see? I see a teacher looking at me. I'm looking at the goldfish. I don't have a goldfish. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? What do you think the teacher sees? What do you think I see every, Miss Julie and I see every day? We see you. They see the children. I, oh, see, that's the page I'm missing. I see children looking at me. So children, children, what do you see? What do the children see? They see that it's the end of the book. The end. I've got to go back and see if I can find that page we're missing where it says, teacher, teacher, what do you see? Oh, no, that has it. Children, children, what do you see? I see. So it's short, but I love these books by him. That was Brown Bear, Brown Bear. So let's go back through it again. I did a lot of interruptions. Maybe I'll just read it for you now. Just, whew, just read the the words without any comment from me, since it's so short and we can we can easily do that. Oh my goodness gracious! This is going to bug me. All right. Brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? Got a little messed up laminating that sheet. That's right. Look, I couldn't do it, I had to talk. I see a green frog looking at me. That's what the horse said. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what, uh, what do you see? I 
I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. We're missing that page. But we have children, children, what do you see? They see it's the end of the book. So now we're going to try and figure out and put our things in the order that they belong. But how many, how many different things are we going to see? Let's count the squares first. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just need to plug this. I'm going to pause it so I can plug this in. There. I don't know if you can see a difference when it's not plugged in, but I've said this before, it gets very, it starts to get dark. I have plenty of, oh, I guess I don't have plenty of, yeah, I have plenty of battery, it's just the screen gets a little dark. So, we said we found 12, we have to find 12, whoops, 12 things. So who do we start with? What animal do we see first in, in our story? see first? We see our brown bear first. So I'm going to have that go up in our first top corner because that was the first thing we saw in the book was our brown bear. Then the brown bear saw something. Does anybody remember? Did he see a red bird or a yellow duck? What did the brown bear see? Brown bear, brown bear, what did you see? I see a red bird looking at me. So he sees the red bird. So we gotta put that up on our little chart. Oh, and they're facing each other. Ha, I just noticed that. So, red bird, red bird, what do you see? Does the red bird see the yellow duck or the green frog? Do you remember? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Which is the picture of the yellow duck? Is this the yellow duck or is this the yellow duck? This is the green frog, so that's not what he saw. Yay, that's the yellow duck. Good job. So we're going to put him there. Yellow duck. And then we have to ask the duck. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? And what does he see? He sees a horse. But what color horse? He sees a horse. But what color is he? Is he blue? Or is he red? My shirt is red. The wall is blue. So is he red like my shirt? Or is he blue like the wall? I know you can't see that far. It's kind of hard, but he's blue. So we finished our first row of the story. Brown bear sees a red bird, sees a yellow duck, who sees a blue horse. Now we gotta find out what the blue horse sees. Do you remember? Does the blue horse see the green frog? Or does the blue horse see the black sheep? Or is it gray? No, it's black, right? Yep, yeah, black. 
Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a... I'm going to put them down so I can get the right, the right one. I see a green frog looking at me. So now we have to find out what the poor green frog sees. Green, green frog, what do you see? Does anyone know? Did he see the purple cat? Or the white dog? Green frog, green frog, what do you see? Meow. That's what he sees. And who says meow? But the cat. Oh, I know I tried to move things over. Miss Julie just came back from her lunch, so she's trying to get her stuff. And I'm like all over the place because I was looking for other stuff. Okay. Sorry. I was hoping I would get it done, but you know me. So now we need to know what the purple cat sees. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? Well, what does he see? He sees a, a dog, but what color is that dog? Is that dog white, like the paper? Or is that dog, because I didn't get my colors, is that dog red, like this candy? Is he red, or is he white? He's white. Let's put them on our chart and see. Oh, we're almost done. Halfway, at least. White dog, white dog, what do you see? Let's see what he sees. He sees something that is black. Okay? So we have a fish and we have a sheep. And one of those is black, or close to black. Which one's the color black? Is that the color black? Or is that the color black? He sees a black sheep. See right here, it kind of looks gray, but it's supposed to be black. Thanks for your help. So now we have to know black sheep, black sheep, what did you see? Remember, he sees with his eyes. Does the goldfish, oh, I just wrecked it. That's what he sees, the goldfish. Sorry, guys. He sees the goldfish. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? Do you remember what the goldfish saw? Did the goldfish see a teacher or all the children in the classroom? What did he see? He saw the teacher, and we can say, teacher, teacher, what do you see? What, do you, what does Miss Julie and Miss Joanne see when we look around the class, besides all this junk and chairs and books and desks and stuff? We see children, our students, and what do the students see? They see that it is the end of brown bear, brown bear. So here's our little chart. What do you see? First we see the brown bear the red bird, the yellow duck, the blue horse, the green frog, the purple cat, the white dog, the black sheep, the goldfish, the teacher, children, and our book. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. That's the end of our, our video for today. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.